it is my extreme pleasure to introduce the Executive Director of Strategic Planning and Performance Management Sector with the Al Ain City Municipality, who has given us this amazing place. Please join me in welcoming our first speaker for this afternoon, Mr. Mohammed Saeed Al Niyadi. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in Al Ain, the Oasis City. First of all, I would like to ask a question. William Shakespeare has asked that question before when he said, To be or not to be, this is the question. But if you can allow me to rephrase the question to organize a successful event or not to organize a successful event, that's the question I may ask. And the answer to this question is two thumbs up for TEDx. Team Alain. Can you give me a bit of applause? I would like to take this opportunity to thank TEDx team for the effort they exerted every day and night and provide all the support for all our other speakers and to organize such a prestigious event. So thank you very much for all the team members who, who have done this in a beautiful manner. Sajjad said the Oasis City, and the Oasis City is a beautiful place. Greatness of cities come from greatness of people. And every city that I have visited around the world have a story to tell. And our story today is about Al Ain. It is located in the eastern region of Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. Our, our uh, city goes back 7,000 years ago. I think there is a certain information that nobody knows. If you can see the picture on the upper corner, it's a tomb stone, and it's a tomb in, he in Healy. Does anybody know how many years that tomb goes back? 5,000 years. Do you know how many tombs have been discovered in that place? 500. The beauty of that tomb is that there are a group of 10 people had been buried in that tomb, mostly families. The, beauty, the other beauty is they discover other places in the Middle East and also in, the, in Europe. The lower corner is another tomb had been discovered in Healy, and it goes back 4,500 years in the Bronze Age. How many people of, of the audience have known those information about Al Ain? So that tells us a, a message that Al Ain is one of the oldest city in the whole world. Now, 7,000 years ago, 5,000 years ago, 4,500 years ago, and also now 3,000 years ago, those are an example of ports that we have in Al Ain has been built two years ago, uh, 200 years ago. It gives you an idea of how the architecture of people who lived in Al Ain resembled. I'm missing one slide. Is the clicker? Uh, 80 years ago, I was speaking with His Excellency Muhammad Al Fahim. And 80 years ago, the food and the water was less. I remember my father told me, Muhammad, 40 years ago, it was difficult for us to receive water and also to get food. We used to travel three days from one place to another place. Your generation is very blessed because you can travel in one hour to Abu Dhabi or even to Dubai, and it takes you another 10 hours to go back in the United States or Europe. It was a difficult life. What forced them to work together, male, female, mothers, and fathers, to face that challenge, and they survive. After this era, they discover oil, 
the black gold. It has been discovered long uh, before 1970s, and it was a wealth for the UAE and also for Al Ain. And UAE and Al Ain were never the same before. Now, His Excellency Mohammed Al Fahim will speak about the father of our nation, the late President Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan. This is a photo that resembles the His Highness. He was a caring person. He cared about people regardless of their age. When he discovered oil, he was focusing in different perspective. The first perspective was building people capacity. As you can see in this photo, the late president focused on building people capacity, education. So was the first university in the United Arab Emirates was the UAE, U. And I believe that many students are from the university, that one. <laughs> that direction, until today, is carried out by the president, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed, and also the crown prince, to focus on education. Building people of capacity is one very important pillar to our successful. The other part was health. It wasn't there before. And they used to have herbal uh, medical stuff just to cure themselves. So the first hospital, everybody in Al Ain who lived in Al Ain know about it, which is called the Oasis Hospital. And it was one of the first hospitals also in Al Ain. UAE and Lod and Al Ain in specific have a unique flavor. We called it Al Majlis. Does anybody know what Al Majlis means? It is an Arabic ter uh, terminology. It's called, it's, it's a community for family and government. That flavor gave the opportunity for everyone to meet with government officials and decision makers to network to transfer knowledge and share information. That tradition also has been done before. You can see that the President Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan is seeking citizens in different places, sitting with them, asking them about their needs, and also tell them about upcoming projects. And that's to identify people need. That tradition also has been carried away by, you can see on the other picture, You can see on the other picture that the crown prince on the left side, on the, on the left side of the screen, is talking to a senior per a person to identify his need in an informal way. That tradi tradition also has been embraced by government officials. You can see this photo. You can see on this photo, does anyone know the photo on the left side remind you of something? It is the same place that you are sitting in TEDx. This is the gathering meeting, the GM and all executive directors of Al-Ain municipality, where they are listening to their staff members. They identify their needs and cater for those needs, to listen to them and tell them what our projects are going to be. The other side, which is the upper corner, you can see a community member meeting where we, as a government organization, have gathered the community in their place and ask them, what do they want? We also ask them, what are the upcoming projects are going to happen? Let me share with you a success story from those community forums. Two years ago, we had one community forum in Al Ain, in this place. And one of the community members have said, you know what, many graduate students have graduated from the university and they are seeking an experience to work in a private sector. Now, the question is when they apply for a, a work, nobody tell them, do you have an experience? No, I don't have an experience. So he said, why don't we ask the private sector 
to provide an opportunity for them to work for a year at least. And we call it khibra or an experience. That was two years ago. We have adopted the idea. It was a great idea. It was part of citizenship to the community. And do you know what? Six during the last, the first year of that program have been employed in the private sector. The company that trained them has said, hey guys, wait. We need those people. We're not going to train them, but we're going to employ them because they have discovered the talent and the caliber of UAE nationals. So I think UAE nationals have deserved the opportunity to work in the private sector with a business mindset. And the others also have got the opportunity to work in the government organization. Four of them already employed in the Alaya municipality, and there is more. So we expanded that idea to cover all functionality of Al Ayn municipality. Now, we have wealth, which is the black gold. We also identified the community need. And also in the lower picture, you can see a part in business delegate in Germany. Seek international success story. And the reason behind that, we don't want to assume things. We want to build our project and everything we do based on the community needs, international success stories, and also provide our project to the community that has an international flavor with a local flavor in it. So that's an I, I would like to share you a site from Al Ain. Does anybody know where this place is? Where is that? Jabal Hafid. You can see the beauty of Al Ain from this clip. I also would like to, see, to show you a day and night of Hafid. You can see on the left picture that this is Hafid, and also this is Mubazzara. And yes, the desert is green too. Al Ain is embracing a healthy, to become a healthy city. And why is that? Many research that we have identified shows that there is a lot of diabetes. There is a lot of uh, gaining weight. And there is no place to walk or to spend time. So al municipality have said, you know what? No. Our focus strategy is to make sure that al is a pedestrian and also walking friendly. Al Ain will become and is becoming a healthy city. You can see the, the, the photo on the left side and also the, the lower corner. Many places in Al Ain, and I've seen them, encourage people to walk and also to spend time with family. So it's a healthy city and it's a family oriented city. Obviously, when we have seek community need and also see the international success story. We have built projects, great projects. And if you can allow me to brag about it, we have a crowning achievement. We, we've got an international award back in the United States competing with 42 cities. All of them are in Western, and we got the second place in Al-Ain. And we will be number one soon, inshallah. <laughs> to be distinctive and to be excellence, you, never, you have to seek the best. And if you want to be the best, you have to seek the best. Now, we have talked about the history of Al-Ain. We have talked also about the achievement of Al-Ain. And also, everybody knows that al Ain and also the UAE, there is a camel race. But that's not the only sport we have in the UAE. We also have a football club. And it's happened. <laughs> it's al Ain club, football club. As you can see from this photo, so many trophies. And also I have to brag, because I am Ainawi, as all of you. <laughs> It is. So this is the Al Ain Club. And 
Al Ain Club is not a football game, a, a sport club. No, it's a marketing and brand of Al Ain. I have spoken with a friend of mine in Saudi Arabia, and he said, "You know what? I never knew Al Ain, but once I, once I, I know Al Ain Club, I knew about Al Ain, and I have visited Al Ain, and that's the link between the sport and also the the Al Ain city." Now, we have explored the history of Al Ain 7,000 years ago until today, and also we, achi we see the achievement. If you visit Al Ain, and if you are part of Al Ain, when Aida mentioned that it's the first time I visit Al Ain Museum, I know many people did not visit Al Ain Museum, and they will see the richness of that history. You have, you're going to have so many activities in Al Ain. Let me give you an example on the left side. You can do Sahara traveling. That's the left side. On the right, in the upper right side, this is my son Saeed. And you can spend time with family. <laughs> so I was rehearsing my presentation in front of him. And I, I said, this is your photo. He said, that was two years ago. <laughs> and also, a tradition that's been carried out until today, falconry. You can use, you can hunt by falcon. Until today, and also until tomorrow. We are in Al Ain, would like to preserve our, our heritage and culture, and you can see that also we are a family orientated. So those playgrounds have been created newly to make sure that families get together. Now, for more adventurous, and I know people who would like to have more adventure in Al Ain, yes, you can have more fun. You can see, you can climb du uh, dunes by your car or by a motorcycle who was ready to do so. Obviously, it's a very organized place, considering all the health and safety factors in that place, and the police are supporting us. It's very organized, and you can check them out in Tel Sad. What I have done right now is, I've started 7,000 7, years ago, and then until today. But I would like to give you a hint of what upcoming project in Al Ain. Obviously, my colleagues and the speakers will provide also another site of Al Ain future. This is two projects that we are working on, which is the, uh, nearby the Sana'i area. It's going to be a new accommodation to accommodate high-end offices and also townhouses, maintaining the identity of Al Ain by itself. The, the true nature of Al Ain is not a modern city. But I think when Aida mentioned that the highest building in Al Ain is the Hilton or the Intercon, that is very true. The late President Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan, when he said, no more than three, build three, three floor building in Al Ain will be there, and it has been there, it has been set and been committed until today, and I believe until tomorrow it's going to be the same thing. And why is that? The beauty of each city is not of how modern buildings are, but I think to maintain your flavor, to maintain your identity as a city, this is the challenge that many cities globally, locally, and even regionally are facing. And the, the one who keep their identity, the one who will be progressing. Now, Al Ain Club, as I said, it's a sport club, yes, but this is also a photo of Al Ain Club Academy, because the president said, the late president said, we're going to focus on education. We're going to focus on building people capacity, and can see a future project also playing or emphasizing in education and also health. The current president, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed, the crown prince, their first priority is education and health. That's number one uh, priority. People are the driving force of all the projects in, in the UAE in large and also in Al Ain in specific. The, I would like to leave you with the last slide. This is the late President Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan. You can see the type of relationship that a highest level in the country where he have a good relationship with colleagues and friends with a joking environment. 
They work together, they share information with each other, and they laugh with each other. This is the personality that UAE people has. This is the personality that the late president have passed to his son and to us. This is the people of Al Ain also have embraced. We are Al Ain, we are a friendly nation, and we are a friendly city. The city that many non Emirati have chosen Al Ain to be their home. So please accept my invitation to explore the beauty and the flavor of Al Ain today and tomorrow, and you will see the entity of Al Ain still exists. Thank you very much.